Update 2 on Hurricane Amanda, which is currently a major Hurricane Category 4, wind speeds 140 miles per hour sustained, and a pressure of 945 millibars. Current position 13.1 degrees north, 111.6 degrees west. And the storm is now on a weakening trend after peaking as a high-end Cat 4 with winds of 155 miles per hour yesterday, and is moving towards the north, and a more quicker weakening, more accelerated weakening will begin to occur over the next 12 to 24 hours. Um, um, and eventually, in around five days' time, the storm will probably dissipate um, just offshore the coast of Mexico. Though one or two computer models do take it a little bit closer to land than what is indicated here. Um, but still, a very strong storm right now, Category 4 still. But um, gradual weakening has occurred in the past 24 hours, and that's expected to quicken up um, over the following two to three days. Right now, some of the storm's spiral bands are moving ashore over Mexico, so there are rain advisories in effect for the provinces of Colima, uh, Jalisco, as well as inland Aguascalientes and Guanajuato. And I think with more time we'll probably see more further north um, some areas get going under advisories and possibly warnings as well. Sea surface temperatures around the storm are still rather high, around 29 degrees Celsius, a few pockets of 30 degrees here and there around it uh, towards the southwest. Uh, but still, uh, very warm waters for storm development and that will continue pretty much until it dissipates. The current wind shear is probably what will kill the storm as it's entering a higher area of wind shear right now. It is decreasing slightly in the storm's path, uh, but it is still very high. Anywhere beyond light green really is going to tear apart a storm and that's probably what's going to happen to Amanda in the next two days or so. Um, certainly by day three, the storm will be hardly anything of what it is right now. Taking a look at the water vapour imagery, here it is, you can see the storm there and it has quite a broad area of influence, at least towards the um, eastern sides of the storm. Towards the west, a little bit more of a, um, a change, drier air out to sea, um, but just a little hot pocket of dry air towards the west of the storm. That probably won't really affect the storm too much, it'll be the wind shear that will kill it off. Looking at the intensity forecasts, you can see how it's it looks like the tip of a roller coaster, really, doesn't it? It's going down towards the plunge, um, and a quick weakening is expected from here on in. It's been gradual over the past 18 hours or so since it peaked as a high end cap 4. The storm's expected to move towards the north unless the green line is to be believed. That takes the storm curving towards the northwest and then down towards the southwest. Even if that does happen, we will probably still see weakening of the storm. And the wind shear forecast, you can see how it rises to around 30, and I think it could rise a bit above that as well, depending on how things go on its exact track. But certainly higher wind shear will begin to take its effect on the storm. It already has done, I believe. Sea surface temperatures will begin to fall, but nothing too serious. Um, even on the five-day period, it's just about um, marginally favourable for development. And the relative humidity is expected to go down as well, especially day three to five. So by the end of day four and five, We'll probably see some um, inclement conditions, at least as far as the storm's concerned, and there probably won't be too much left of it by then. Latest satellite imagery, you can see the eye has begun to disappear, at least on visible, in the past few hours. Um, and I think that is reflected on all of the um, floater imagery. You can see here the infrared imagery, the eye disappearing. The, um, gr uh, the movement is towards what appears to be the northwest or perhaps the north-northwest. Um, and it appears to have slowed down slightly over the past few hours. But we'll probably see some more movement towards the north or north-northwest uh, very soon. Indeed, it already is doing that. Um, the central core is still well intact. So um, still a strong centre of the storm and a few bursts towards the south of it as well on that spiral band there. There's still a fair amount of weather towards the north too, so if that comes closer to land we might see some more rain advisories and perhaps warnings coming up later on. World Tropics right now, Amanda's the only thing going on really. Invest 92B is over India right now. It had a small chance of development in the past few days, uh, but that seems to have erased itself completely now and that storm will probably be declassified very soon. Um, and then we'll be left with Amanda. And uh, 2014 worldwide so far, then 26 tropical storms have formed, 11 of those becoming cyclones of 74 miles per hour higher, category 1 on the Saffir Simpson hurricane scale, and 6 of those becoming category 3 hurricanes, major storms of 115 miles per hour or higher. Amanda is the 6th and the first one of the Northern Hemisphere this year. 
so you can take a look at any or all of Force 13's outlets. The website's the main place to be, force13.com, keeps you updated on all the storm information and there's um, plenty of other tracking tools as well on there now. You can visit the uh, video sharing sites, of course, YouTube and Daily Motion, Force 13 on both of those, and the social platforms, Facebook and Twitter, updates every day on them. Uh, just search Force 13 in text on those. And you can also add Full 13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.